To start our acrylic color wheel, we are going to start by creating a circle as large as we can on the paper. Once we have this circle, we are going to break it in to 12 sections. There are 12 different colors on the color wheel. That is why we're breaking it into 12 sections. Each piece should be a 30 degree measurement. This is what I'm measuring using the protractor. Once I have my sections measured out, I am going to use my ruler to create straight lines and sectioning the circle into those 12 sections. I am then going to label each section. This helps so that you don't get confused or forget to include a color. In each section, you're going to be creating a design or pattern for your color wheel. Here, I am creating a practice section. Your practice section can have any type of design you like. You just need to include enough sections so that you can have two tints, two shades, and the pure tone of your color. You will be repeating this pattern over the entire color wheel. I am now going to create a practice section. In this practice section, I am thinking about what tones I'm going to have on each piece of your design. Here I am creating a gradient to see what tints and shades I'm going to include in my piece of my color wheel. There is no right or wrong where you put each tint or shade. Your acrylic color wheel should be created using only primary colors and black and white. It should be neat and interesting.